This is Gene Wood speaking for Super Password, a Mark Goodson television production. Behind these numbers is a puzzle. Can you solve it? D plus hog, dog. P plus pound, pound. Dog pound. If you can do that, you could win one of these eight fabulous cars. As we play Classic Concentration. And here's the host of Concentration, Alex Trebek. Thanks, nice Gene. Good morning, everyone. Welcome again to our show. Boy, we're just a week away from our national holiday. Our champion has been celebrating. She's won a couple of thousand dollars in prizes, introduced me to her year-and-a-half-old daughter on our last program, had a lot of fun. We've made a new fan of little Sandy Gimignani. Let's go meet her mom now and the challenger for today. How are you, Kathy? Fine. This is our returning champion, mother of the little girl you saw on the program yesterday. Another one expected on the way. Yes. Going to be uh, delivered when? Around the 1st of December, I think. If it's a girl, what are you going to call her? Tara, I think. Tara? Yes. Tara Gimignani. Yes. TG. Yeah. Good sounding initial. Yeah. All right, good luck to you on the Thank program you. today. Manny Siegel is the yes, challenger sir. today. Welcome aboard, sir. Thank you. Where are you from? Anaheim. Originally from New York. Originally from New York. Are you retired or do you still work? I have been retired for five glorious weeks. Five weeks? Congratulations. Are you Thank enjoying you. it or are you finding Robin, yourself at a loss for things to do? Are you kidding? I wonder where I've got the time to do the things that I used to do when I was working. I see. Do you have a wife? Oh, yes. Is she happy about your retirement? Hey, she's retiring in June and then we're both going to kick back. I need some trips. You need some trips? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's go to work. Uh, we're going to have a good trip and I'll tell you about that in a moment. But right now, I direct your attention over to Margie. A touch of elegance. Kay Jewelers Pearl Necklace with an elegant center design of a 14 karat gold knot. Sparkles with round diamonds. Furnished by Kay Jewelers. Alex. And let's show Manny and Kathy where that beautiful necklace can be found. It's at number four. And Manny, we've got a holiday in Hawaii, I believe, in this game hey, on Waikiki great. Beach. Great. Um, my birthday's the 11th, so let's start with number 11. Sounds like a good place to start, particularly when the Waikiki uh, Beach Party is there. Lucky number three. Nope, red take. Kathy? I've wanted to go to Hawaii my whole life. Let's see if... Yeah, but you haven't been around as long as <laughs> Manny or me, so it doesn't count quite as much. No, but I hope to find a wild card or that Waikiki trip under number 22. His and her leather attaches. Okay, that would be nice, too. We can pack some stuff to go to Hawaii. And let's match that under number 18. No, his and her diamond watches. Manny? Oh, let's see. I was married on Christmas Day, the 25th. Electronic typewriter. Hmm. Let's see if we can match that up under number 7. No, green take. So we go back to our champion, Kathy. Okay, let's go to my birthday again, number 13. Car sound system. I could use that, definitely. Um, let's match. Three piece band that, <laughs> lives, that lives in your car. I don't think they fit unless I win one of these. Let's try number 10 for the car sound system. Wild card, right. so it's going to work out after all. The other car sound system, just below it at number 15. We'll watch it slide into position and we'll open these three doors for you. And it would surprise me no end if you came up with a correct solution. So you're not even going to try, are you? No, can't. We'll take a break. We'll come back. Kathy will pick again. Go on spring break without leaving your living room. So pack your bags with your favorite snacks, a big deck of cards, and your family's tagging along, too. College Spring Break Week, all week starting at 5 on Buzzer. Let's play.
still very, very early in the first game. Kathy made the match, so she will continue. Okay, let's go into my husband's birthday, number 12. One, two. Piano. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, let's match that piano under number three. Oh. Red tape. Oh. Manny? Uh, let's try the upper corner, number five. Piano. There we go, number 12. Number 12 makes it a match. That's good. Do you play? No. Does your wife play? No, my daughter does. Yeah, She's well, you're never too old to learn. Remember that. Let's yeah. open these two doors for Manny Siegel. I've always wanted to, too. Hmm. No, too soon. All right, select again. Um, number 23. Green tape. Oh, we saw that, didn't we? Where did we see it? I think it was under number three. No, well, that was the red tape. Kathy? Oh, where did we see that green <laughs> tape? Under number two? No, that's the electronic, electronic typewriter. typewriter. We saw that under number 25. I think so. Yeah. Well done. Another prize for you. And you're expanding the puzzle a little bit more. Try it again, Kathy. Uh, let's see what's under number 19. Red take. Uh, and the match to that under number three. Red take. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice insurance. Do you use it as insurance, or do you want to take the piano? Let's use it as insurance. All right. Your piano is safe for the time being, Manny. Open these two doors. Try it again. Uh, let's see what's under number six. 200 oh, lottery tickets. Oh, I love those. Let's match those under number 20. Yeah. 200 lottery tickets. Another match gives you another opportunity to use the tape, should you so desire. No, not quite yet. All righty, open these two doors for her. <laughs> Try it again. I'll uh, see what's under number 17. Pearl necklace. And I love that pearl necklace under number four. Right again. That's four prizes. Oh, it's beautiful. Now that the puzzle is opening up a little more, do you want to change your mind about the take, or do you still want to save it? Uh, let's use it for that piano. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. She may be close to a solution. We'll find out right now mm. as we open these two doors. None yet. Kathy, Not two more numbers, please. Uh, let's see what's under number 21. Wallpaper gift certificate. And I don't believe we've seen what's under number eight. Wallpaper yeah. gift certificate. She doesn't need those wild cards, Manny. No, she She's doesn't. making natural matches and moving beautifully through this game. Open the doors. <laughs> Try it again. Uh, let's see what's under number seven. Green take. And I believe that green take was under number 14? No. Oh. His and her leather attaches. Manny, here's your chance. I think that green take was 23. Yeah. Yeah, and number seven. It makes it a match, gives you the take. She's got a lot of great prizes up there, Manny. The piano, the pearl necklace, the lottery ticket. And there is still that holiday that uh -huh. is yet to be found. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, I think I'll take the piano back. All right. Piano is a beautiful prize. Let's take it away from our champion, put it on Manny's side, and open these two doors and see if he can win the game. I think Kathy's got the solution, Manny, and there aren't that many matches left up there, so let's see oh if you can boy. make one right now. Well, did we see what's under number 18 yet? His and her His diamond watches. watches. And, oh dear, I saw that different. Number 14. His and her leather attache. Oh, yes. Kathy? Okay, I want to see what's under... I can make the match. Number 14? Yes. And number 22. His and her leather attaches. That is right. Now, you don't have to solve the puzzle right now. If you feel confident enough in your ability to make more matches, you could try for all of the prizes we've got left. But right now, we'll open these doors. I want to go for Hawaii. You do? Okay, let's see. It's been a long time since a contestant, oh, know. knowing how to solve the puzzle, has tried it. But you're in pretty good shape. There are only three matches left up there. Make one of them. Let's see number 16. Wild card. Oh, 
Number 11 for Waikiki Beach. The other Hawaiian holiday is at number 24. That prize goes up on your side. We'll open these three doors and don't try to solve it yet because one, nine, and 18 are gonna match up. There's a wild card left there. Oh. And we pair it with the diamond watches. And when we open these three doors, Kathy, for a whole slew of prizes, the only one you haven't got is the piano. Solve this puzzle. Is it Heaven Can Wait? Looks like it to me. Is it Heaven Can Wait? Right. 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 Certainly made up for that now by winning big. Let's go to the board. This is going to be a fun moment for you. <laughs> the H E H is half plus the van, heaven. And this is, I couldn't get it. It's pointing at the can. And then the way plus the T. Heaven can wait. Heaven can wait. What a great well, solution. I'm going now. <laughs> Where? Oh, wait, I'm going yeah, to Gene will tell you about that. And all of the other prizes, too, Gene. 200 lottery tickets, his and her leather attaches, an electronic typewriter, a service merchandise gift certificate with which you may select an electronic typewriter or other top name brands from our catalog or redeem at any one of our many stores furnished by service merchandise, and a wallpaper gift certificate. The look of Bob Mitchell Designs, fine hand screen wall coverings and related fabrics offer the latest fashion and coloring from traditional to contemporary designs for your home, furnished by Bob Mitchell Designs, and his and her Diamond Watches, Jules Jurgensen's His and Her Classic Series, Diamond Dial Watches, elegantly styled his with 20 genuine diamonds, hers with 10, the Classic Series, furnished by Jules Jurgensen, and the Car Sound System, Panasonic's Car Stereo System, features AM, FM, preset tuner, auto reverse cassette deck, and full range coaxial speakers, furnished by Panasonic, and a Waikiki Beach Party! We'll fly you in a companion from Los Angeles aboard Delta Airlines to Honolulu. You may visit the exclusive Crown Room Lounge before boarding and while in flight. Experience warm and friendly hospitality furnished by Delta Airlines. And you'll enjoy a six-night stay at the new Hilton Hawaiian Village, home of Don Ho. 22-acre resort on Waikiki Beach with dazzling views, swimming pools, and more furnished by the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And, of course, the lovely pearl necklace, a prize package worth. Kathy, listen to this number. $8,695. Takes you to over 10000 in winnings, gives you the lead in the match, and it takes us to our next commercial.
right, we're getting into game number two in which we have this as one of the fun prizes. Rock out with the City Ford Jukebox. Features an attractive design, fashionable styling, designed with the latest computer technology, and holds 160 selections. Alex. Oh, you caught me in the act again. Darn. <laughs> Let me straighten out your microphone so that we can hear you when you give solutions or attempt to give solutions to the puzzle. Okay. All right. Manny, are you OK over there? I'm fine. All right. Let's go to work. Where are we going to find that prize on the board? At number 15, the Juke Box. We also have a holiday in New Orleans and one in Las Vegas in this second game. Oh, Manny, boy. pick a couple of numbers. Las Vegas for me. Let us start with my birthday again, the 11th. 1-1, one, one. New Orleans. New Orleans, oh. And we'll try your lucky number 22. Will it be there? No, no. a food possessor. Kathy? OK, let's see my birthday, number 13. It's always been lucky for me. $500 clothing oh, gift certificate. Oh, I could use that. Uh, let's Buy match. some more sweaters. Yeah, let's match that under number three. Nope, man's oh. gold bracelet. Ooh. Back to Manny. Uh, let's see. Uh, for want of a better one, uh, number 14. Personal computer, for want of a better one. Aha. Uh -huh. And let's see if we can match that up under number six. Wild card, so you do get the match, Manny. We're going to get a look at three pieces of the puzzle. One directly below number 14. It's number 19. Prize is up there. Now, check it out. Oh. Nope. A little too early. Pick two more numbers. Uh, let's go to number four. New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, and that's that has to be number 11. 11 for New Orleans. That is correct. Beautiful city. Lots to do. Great food. Love nice it. atmosphere. Times. Open the doors. Oh, dear. Nope. Too soon. Keep going, then. Uh, number 23. There's another wild card for you. And uh, uh, let's try uh, number 13. Was that computer? No, nope, that's the $500 clothing gift certificate. My wife loves that. gift certificate for clothing is at number 17. Now, man, you got confused, I believe. You're looking for the computer. You've already got the computer. You made that oh. match a few moments ago. It's up there. You've got the computer, the clothing, and hey, the New Orleans When you get game. old, something's got to go. Boy. <laughs> Let's talk about that after the show, because <laughs> I've lost two or three things in the last year. <laughs> Open these three doors. Mm -hmm. Select Still again. Gotten it. Mm. Oh, let's go to the upper, uh, number two. Number two? Electric range mm, with microwave. We haven't seen that one yet. Um, let's see if we can match it up with that or Wild Country to number nine. Las Vegas right. getaway. Las Vegas Kathy, getaway. here's your chance. Yeah, let's see what's under number five. Red take. Oh, I'd like to take New Orleans. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to the opposite corner, number 21. Will it be there? Nope, that's the man's oh. gold bracelet. Does Manny remember where he saw that? I think I saw that under number three. Correct. And number 21. That makes a match. That gives you four prizes. You're doing very, very well, Manny. Can you solve it right now? <laughs> Again. Mm, let's see what's under number eight. Green take. Green take. And let's see, have we seen what's under number 20? Jukebox. Oh. No match. Oh. Kathy? Ooh, I want that jukebox. Number 15 and right. number 20. You got it. Oh, yeah. At last, you get a prize up there. <laughs> and you get a chance to solve the puzzle as well, Kathy. If you do it, you'll win the game and the match. Select two more numbers. Let's see what's under number 12. Red take. And that red take was under number five? Red yeah. take. Yeah. I'll give it to you. He's got a lot of prizes, some good stuff up there. The computer, the $500 clothing certificate, holiday in New Orleans. I like New Orleans, but my husband's always wanted a gold bracelet. I'll take the man's bracelet. All right. Interesting selection. Very kind and generous move on our champion's part. The five, uh, the man's gold bracelet goes over to her side, and she gets a chance to win it for her husband right now. Go 
again. Whoa, there's the bell. Hands on your signaling buttons, Manny and Kathy. We're gonna reveal a puzzle one square at a time. You know the drill. Ring in when you think you can solve it. Number one, number two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Study it carefully. Oh, Manny's in. Nothing but the facts, ma'am. Is it nothing but the facts, ma'am, for a victory and a tie in the match? You better believe it is. Here you go. Now, you said you were retired, but we're gonna unretire you because you've gotta go to the board and do some work for us. And explaining, oh, whoop, you all right? Get old, get it. <laughs> All right, break it down. Uh, you've got the uh, gnaw plus the the ink, nothing but the F plus the axe for fax, and M plus the ham for ma'am. You got it. Well done. And as a result, you've won these prizes. Let's hear about them, team. A $500 clothing gift certificate and a personal computer. The Apple IIc personal computer, sleek and transportable with built-in disk drive, standard 128K memory and RF modulation, and New Orleans. <laughs> We'll fly you in a companion from Los Angeles aboard Delta Airlines to New Orleans. You may visit the exclusive Crown Room Lounge before boarding and while in flight experience warm and friendly hospitality furnished by Delta Airlines. And you'll spend six nights at the Royal Sinesta Hotel located in the heart of the French Quarter on Bourbon Street. Beautiful courtyards, nightly entertainment. Enjoy an exciting hotel in an exciting city furnished by the Royal Sinesta Hotel. Prizes totaling $3,860. $63. And you can add to that, of course, by winning a brand new car. But first, you've got to take this game, the third and deciding one of the match. Hands on your signaling buttons. Manny's in. Fairy tale? Is it fairy tale? Sure. I was waiting for something more to come up under that We made it so simple that you weren't sure you should be in. All right, well, I'll, I'll break it down for the folks at home. The top line, very straightforward. We have the F, the arrow's pointing at the hair, followed by the E, fair E. And then the arrow's down here pointing at the tail of the kite. Fairy tale, and that has made Manny our champion. Come on, Manny. <laughs> Thank you. Kathy, you've got a great holiday in Waikiki. Thank you. You've got so some much. other prizes totaling $10,630. Oh, Congratulations Thank you very to you. Much. Thank you for being with us on Classic Concentration. Manny, you want to go to the winner's circle and win a brand new car? I would love to. Okay, you'll have 40 seconds on the clock when we come back. Next, Classic Concentration makes sure you study the board and test your breaking point. Then, College Spring Break Week puts the brakes on the tests and the studying. Stay tuned.
Manny thinks he can win a car. Here are the 15 numbered squares and the clock with 40 seconds. Good luck, Manny. Off you go. One, two. No match. Four. Five. Nope. Seven. Eight. No match. Ten. Eleven. No. One. No. Thirteen. Nope. Fourteen. Three. Nope. Six. Nine. No. One. Nine. That's right. Twelve. Seven. Yes. Fifteen. Eight. No. Two. Three. No. Five. Two. No. no. Three. No. It's a lot harder here oh, than it is sure at home. Is. All right, but you've got yourself a big win so far, $3,863, and you'll come back as the defending champion. We'll come back after we hear from Gene and take this break. Some of today's participants may receive Aeroflexus Fun on Wheels for the young, a sturdy scooter for the older kids, a skateboard, and for those of all ages, roller skates, all furnished by Veriflex. We'll be back to classic concentration in just a moment. A concentration. A Mark Goodson television production. Behind these numbers is a puzzle. Can you solve it? O plus fur. V O fur V rain plus bow rainbow over the rainbow. If you can do that, you could win one of these eight fabulous cards as we play Classic Concentration. And here's the host of Concentration, Alex Trevick. Thanks, Gene. Hi, folks. Let's get right to it. I want to meet the players and get into that first game. We'll do it. Manny Siegel is our returning champion. He won a game on yesterday's program. Didn't do too well in the car round. He's hoping to redeem himself today, but he's already got $3,863, and we're delighted to have you back here. Thank you, Alex. 
Now, you mentioned on yesterday's show that you and your wife had visited New Orleans on yes. a number of occasions, mm -hmm. and the trip you won was to New Orleans. Uh -huh. You'd like to go at Mardi Gras time. Mardi Gras time. We were there at Mardi Gras time about two or three years ago, and it was fantastic. It was my birthday. I see. And it was ah. great. Well, we'll find out soon enough what happens in today's game. You're going to have to defeat this young lady, Gretchen Kim. Hi. Pleasure. Love that sweater, too. It's Thank long. You. Casual. Are you a student or are you an employee somewhere? Well, I just got a new job today in San Diego. Doing what? Uh, marketing. Yeah? Yeah. Where did you go to school? I went to Arizona State University. Are you from Arizona? Or? I'm from Michigan. Boy, you're seeing the country, right? Right, you bet. Okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Huh? Uh-uh. Do you have a husband? No, I don't. How old are you? 24. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look over here at one of the prizes. I'm bad today, I know. Academy Broadway, products designed for carefree outdoor fun, includes dome tent, nylon sleeping bags, double-wide air mattress, and travel packs, furnished by Academy Broadway. Alex. Thank you, Gene and Gretchen. If you'd like some company, some companionship, I could introduce you to one of those stuffed animals in the tent there with Marjorie. They are great companions, believe me. But for the moment, let's look at our game board and show Gretchen and Manny where that prize can be found. Number eight has the camping package, and we also have a holiday in Puerto Rico wow. on the board. Gretchen, go I'd to work. Like that. I'd like that holiday in Puerto Rico. Let's look for it under number 19. Green take. And I'll try and find the match for that take under number 11. Diamond oh. earrings. Good prize there. No match, obviously. Manny? Uh, my lucky number, number three. Diamond oh. earrings. And uh, my birthday, number 11. Number 11. That's a lucky number for you today. Put it up there. Open these two doors. We're getting off to a good start here. Uh, too soon. Too soon? Then we'll take a commercial break, and when we come back, you'll pick again. Stay with us. Show me that you can dance. Body language. Tomorrow, starting at 9. That's the way you play the game. It's all about the motion, baby. Some diamond earrings up on the champion's side. And Manny, pick again. Two more numbers. Well, uh, my wedding day again. Number 25. Brass, Brass chandelier. Mm. How long have you guys been married? 33 years. Ooh, good for you. Good for you. Actually, it'll be 34 this year. All right. Uh, let's try and match that up uh, with a wild card or a match under 13. Ice cream ice for cream. a year. Oh, boy, that's just what Gretchen? I need. <laughs> Yeah, um, you like ice cream? <laughs> My sister does. All righty. Um, I'd like to look for that trip under number 15. 
Brass chandelier. And the match to that chandelier under 25. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Well done. Prize for you. And your first opportunity at studying the puzzle and trying to solve it. Select again. All right. I'd like to go up in the corner with number five. 25-inch color television. Ooh, I don't think we've seen that yet. Let's try the other corner, number one. Green take. No match. Ooh. Manny? Uh, let's try your lucky number, 22. Ice cream for a year. Oh, where did we see that? Uh, that was 13, I believe. That's right. <laughs> Diamond earrings, ice, ice cream. <laughs> Fun prizes. <laughs> Open the doors for Manny. Oh, dear. No, not yet. Go again. Uh, let's try number two. Five shares of Goodyear stock. Oh, that should be worth something. How about uh, matching that up with number 19? Green oh. take, no match. Gretchen, here's a chance for you. I remember seeing a take somewhere, but I can't remember where. Um, we'll try number eight. Camping package. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, and we'll look for that under number 17. No match, 25-inch color TV. Know. Manny? I think that television was under number four. Really? Oh, no, wrong one. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Ah, yes, OK. Puerto Rico Fiesta. Let's see if we can match that up under number six. No, oh. right. red tape. Yeah. Gretchen? Let's see if what's under number five. 25-inch color TV. And then um, I think the match to that's number 17. I think you're right. Yeah. Well done, another prize. Chandelier, color TV, and a chance to solve the puzzle. Select. All right, let's see what's under number 14. Red take. Um, was that under number seven? No, oh. but it's a wild card, so it's going to work out for you after all. Uh, the other red take. Let's show it to her. Right next door, number six. Here's the take. He's got the diamond earrings and ice cream for a year. Now, you can choose to take it. Huh? I'll wait. I'll she's, wait. She's going to save it. Yeah. She's taking your advice, ladies and gentlemen. She yeah. is going to save the take for later. Now, open these three doors. Try it again. Um, let's look under number 19. Green take. Just look there. And um, the match under number eight? Nope, that's oh, the camping package. package. We've been there quite often. Yes, <laughs> Manny. Oh, if I could remember. Uh, let's try number 16. There's a wild, wild card. card. Uh, <laughs> was that trip under four? Was the trip under four? And the answer is, of right. course it was. The other Puerto Rico Fiesta, right below it at number nine. And now, diamond earrings, ice cream, a holiday in Puerto Rico at stake for Manny Siegel as he looks at the puzzle. God, no. There's some it. important elements still yeah. not revealed. You well, just we have, have to, to see keep what's opening behind up. number eight. That's a good one. That's the camping, camping package. package. Oh, dear. Was that number 18? No, no, that's a video cassette oh. recorder. I don't we've think seen we've it. seen the other camping package yet. I don't think so either. <laughs> um, I'd like to look for it under number 24. There's a cedar armoire. Pretty prize. All right, um, let's go right next to it and look under number 23. There's the wild card, the last wild card in this game. The other cedar armoire. Is that number 20? Oh, well, you now have three prizes as well, Gretchen, and you can use the take if you decide. He has a... I'd like to take a vacation. I thought you might. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move the vacation away from Manny's side of the board to Gretchen's that and see if she can win that trip right now by solving this puzzle. Oh, the Ballad of the Green Beret? Is it the Ballad of the Green Beret? <laughs> No, it is not. Oh, something like that. <laughs> well, just keep going. Okay. All you have to do is make some more matches. All right. Let's Remember, look. you have to solve it and get all of the elements in. So, you right. have to be exact. Okay. Um, let's look under number um, 10. Number 10, five shares of Goodyear stock. All right. Let's see if the match to that is under number two. 
Yeah. Five shares of Goodyear stock. You are correct once again, Gretchen. You've got five beautiful prizes. Can you solve it now? All right, Gretchen, keep going. All right, um, let's look under number 12. Camping package. Where do you think the other oh, camping package gee, is? Gee, I think that might be under number eight. Oh, boy, you found it. What a great guess. <laughs> but the important thing is to solve the puzzle. Can you do it? Select again. All you have to do now is make one match, and the last one will match automatically, Gretchen. Okay, let's see what's under number one. Green take. And I believe that was under number 19? Yes. Green take is yours. He has the diamond earrings, ice cream for a year. <laughs> take the ice cream. My sister's yelling ice cream. Um, I would like the diamond earrings. Thought you might. I mean, ice cream for a year is nice, but there might be some weeks when you wouldn't want ice cream. Exactly. Okay, that's going up on your side. We'll open these two doors, and then we'll show you 18 and 21. Video cassette recorder. That too will go up on your side. So the only prize in this game that you cannot win, Gretchen, is the ice cream for a year. But you've got <laughs> to solve the puzzle. Can you do it now? Is it the ballad of the Green Berets? Notice she pluralized it yeah. this time. Is it the ballad of the Green Berets? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Go to the board. You did that very, very nicely. You didn't lose your composure. I was worried. I thought you might draw a blank. Okay, go to work. All right, we've got the bell that's lad plus off of the, and then green golf course, ber, and then the rays. And I the missed rays, the rays. The ballad of the green berets. Do you remember that song? No, I, no? I'd never heard of it. You've never heard of the ballad of the green berets? I'm working with children again. <laughs> Let's tell her about her prizes, Gene. You remember the Ballad of the Green Berets. Five shares of Goodyear stock, a brass chandelier, and diamond earrings. Part of Kate Jewelers' classic collection, elegant diamond earrings crafted in 14 karat gold. These stunning earrings sparkle with 10 brilliant diamonds furnished by Kay Jewelers. And a cedar armoire, plain cedar armoire, for the treasures of a lifetime. Washed pine finish, brass finished hardware, and completely cedar lined. A new solution to an old storage problem furnished by Lane. And the video cassette recorder, Hitachi's VCR with digital VU transmitter and automatic functions. Just touch the remote control for for an on-screen guide to programming and playback procedures. Furnished by Hitachi and a 25-inch color TV. Emerson's Deluxe 25-inch stereo color television features 140 channel cable TV compatibility, infrared remote control and programmable sleep timer, a fine product furnished by Emerson. And a Puerto Rico Fiesta. We'll fly you in a companion from Los Angeles aboard Delta Airlines to San Juan. You may visit the exclusive Crown Room Lounge before boarding and while in flight. Experience warm and friendly hospitality furnished by Delta Airlines. And you may enjoy a six-night vacation at the El San Juan Hotel and Casino in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Magnificent beach and pools, gourmet meals, glittering nightlife, a memorable vacation at the El San Juan Hotel and Casino. And, of course, the fun-to-use camping package, a prize package. It's totaling a big number, $7,413. That's the equivalent of your first month's salary in this new job, right? Yeah? Right. Right, okay. All right, Gretchen, you've got the lead in the match, and we'll have our next game coming up after this.
During the break, we found out that Gretchen was only about this high when the Ballad of the Green Berets was on the hit parade chart. <laughs> yeah, you didn't remember it, but that's okay. Here's one of the great prizes we have for you two in this game. Sonoma Spa's freestyle portable acrylic spa fits through most doorways. Is fully self-contained with built-in heater, filter, and pump. Thermal cover included. Live the fantasy. Furnished by Sonoma Spa's. Alex. As he loves to live the fantasy. Let's show Gretchen and Manny where we can find the spa. At number two, we'll close that door, and to get both of you off to a very good start in this second game, we are going to open four more doors. Number 13, number 14. Now we go to 15, and then 25. Manny, you are trailing. We've got a holiday in Florida as one of our prizes in this game. Select two numbers. Uh, uh, my birthday again, 11. Number 11, the man is consistent. A uh, green take sure. is there. And your favorite, number 22. Nope. nope. Two gold pearl pins. Gretchen? Ooh, those would be nice. Let's try and look for those on under number nine. Water skiing equipment. Oh, I like that, too. Um, let's look under number three for that equipment. Nope. Home spa. Manny? Uh, wasn't that home spa under number two? Yes. That's what I thought. And number three. Number three. That makes it a match. Have you got room for something like that? Oh, loads of room. That's what I want. All right. Good. Let's open I the two doors it. for Manny. Oh, too soon. Uh, let's see. Number seven. Red take. And let's try and match that up with number 17. Wild card. It's going to be an automatic match for you. The other take. Lower left hand corner, number 21. Here's the take. She has no prizes, so we'll just open these three doors and you look at the puzzle. Nope. Try it again. Uh, let's uh, try and see what's under number nine. Water skiing, skiing equipment. equipment. And I'm not sure. I think it was under number 19. Wild That's card. Wild card. <laughs> Another good match for you. Where's the other water skiing equipment that he was looking for? It's in the upper right-hand right corner at number five. Mm -hmm. It's there. And down here, what happens as we open these doors? Oh, dear. Select. Nope. Uh, we have to see what's under number 16. Washer and dryer. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can match that up with number 23. Washer yeah. and dryer. We can. We did. You did. Three prizes. We still got the taker's insurance. Open the doors. No. Still one wild card in play, Manny. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see what's up in the corner under number one. Two gold oh, pearl, pearl pins. Did we see that under number 22? We have seen it, yeah. and that's where we saw it. Well done. Open it up. Oh, dear. Keep going, Manny. Uh, number 10. Green take. Green take. Uh, I think that was under number 11. Green take. Yeah. You've got them both now. You can't use either one, unfortunately. No. You haven't given poor Gretchen an opportunity. <laughs> but let's open these doors and see if Manny can win the game tie the match. No, I can't see that. I Pick again. Number 12. Sailboat. Sailboat. Oh, let's see. Um, number uh, 20. Sailboat. How about that? Put it up there for him. Open the doors. You may get a look at all of the pieces of the puzzle in a moment, Manny. Don't make any mistakes. Oh, there's the bell. All right, we're going to have to uh, go to a quick reveal on this and ring in when you think you can solve it, but only after we have revealed the first square, which is number four. Gretchen is in as I thought she might. Gretchen? Is it Ghost Rider? I think so. Is it Ghost Rider? Yes, it is. <laughs> Poor Manny couldn't come up with that solution. That was a toughie. He had all the prizes. Nicely done, Gretchen. Nicely done. I'm going to go to the board and show the folks at home. G plus the host. This is game show, and the arrows are pointing at the host. Ghost, the arrows here pointing at the right rather than the left. So ghost right plus tier. Ghost writer, and this lady did it. Gretchen, come on down here. Unfortunately, there were no prizes, but she will get a chance to play for a brand new car with almost a minute on the board. Manny, we're going to say goodbye to you.
I hope you enjoyed your visit here because you won $3,863 in prizes. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy the holiday in New Orleans, too. Thank you. So long, Manny. All right, Gretchen. Let's go to the winner's circle. You and I will spend some time there, and when we come back, we'll see if you can win a brand new car. Following this. Go on spring break without leaving your living room. $2,000 in cold cash. College Spring Break Week, coming up next on Buzzer. was just telling me that when she plays the game at home, she's very good at solving the puzzles, but she's not too good at this part of the game. So we'll give her a few more moments in which to relax while I run down the list of cars. Starting at the bottom with the Volkswagen Golf. Then we've got the Geo Metro, the Mitsubishi Priesus, the Buick Skylark, the Eagle Premier, the Isuzu Amigo, the Ford Festiva, and finally, the Hyundai Excel GL. You know the drill, Gretchen. Match them up in the time we have available for you. 15 squares and the time, 50 seconds. Good luck, off you go. One, two. No match. Four, five. No match. Seven, eight. No match. 10, 11. No. 13, 14. No. Five, 14. Yes. Three, 10. No. Three, 11. No. Six, eight. No. Nine, one. No. Two, three. No. Two, nine. No. Twelve, three. No. Fifteen, thirteen. Mm, yes. Eleven, one. No. Four, twelve. No. Nine. Nine and four was, was the way to go. Oh, don't be sad. Hey, you've got $7,413 in prizes to this point, and that's just as a result of one game. Think what you can do tomorrow. We're going to take a break after we hear from Gene. 
Some of today's participants may receive Ray-Ban Tortuga sunglasses. Classic styling in distinctive fashion with the look of golden tortoiseshell, plus Ray-Ban glare-beating lenses furnished by Bausch & Lohm. We'll be back to classic concentration in just a moment. perplexed right now because they follow this program carefully and they know how much time contestants should be allowed on the clock. We made a mistake a few minutes ago when we dealt with Gretchen in that bonus round. We gave her full 50 seconds. In actual fact, we only had 45 seconds. So the champion tomorrow will have the 50 seconds. And if it's your turn again tomorrow here in the winner's circle, that's what you'll have, 50 and seconds. And you'll take a cut and pay for that, is that correct? It was not my error. <laughs> oh. But I should have caught it. But you sh that's true. I should have caught it. Because you are the leader of the show. And it's very kind and of you to really remind followers. me. It's very kind of yes. you to remind me of that fact. That's true. And to point out my stupidity in that's front true. of millions of viewers. Uh, absolutely. And I will remember that's that. That's why I'm here. And yeah, you ain't going to be here for long. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Speaking for Classic Concentration, a Mark Goodson television production. Behind these numbers is a puzzle. Can you solve it? You plus night plus head. You, night, head. We stand. We stand. United we stand. If you can do that, you could win a brand new car as we play Classic Concentration. And now, welcome to College Week on Classic Concentration with our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Gene. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome again to College Week here on Classic Concentration. I hope you were watching yesterday. We had a young man from Antelope Valley College leave us with close to $9,000 in prizes. It could happen to these two here today. Let's meet them right now. First of all, the young lady from Arizona State, Jennifer Peterson. Hello, Jennifer. Hi. Welcome aboard. Thank you. What are you studying at Arizona State? I'm studying journalism and hope to graduate in December. And go on to working where? Eastern part of the country or here in the west? Uh, western part of the country on just bigger and better things. Yeah? Where are you from? I'm from um, Mesa, Arizona. Oh. 
Pretty so, part of the country. Pretty close to school. Yes, indeed. All right, good luck to you on the Thank program you today. Much. Your opponent is from Uni the University of Delaware, and his name is Eric Simon. Hi, Eric. How you doing? What are you uh, majoring in? I'm studying communications. Communications yeah. also. All the way over in the east. Electronic communications, I take it. Um, no, I'm in writing. You know, thinking about screenwriting. I want to get out here. I like it out here. This oh, is I don't blame you. Ready to play? I'm ready to play. Good luck to you also. Going to take a look at one of the prizes. Hey, Marjorie, what do you got? The spirit of Los Angeles Harbor Cruise will take you out to sea for lunch, brunch, or a moonlit dinner. A true dining experience complete with live music and dancing furnished by Spirit of Los Angeles, Alex. Now that's a fun prize for somebody who enjoys Southern California. Here's where you'll find it on the board, Jennifer and Eric, at number 10, a cruise for you and 25 of your friends. Now, if that isn't enough, we also have a holiday in Hawaii in this game. Eric, you go first. I love that Hawaiian vacation. So let's start with number 12. Wild card. You've got a choice now. The only prize you've seen is the cruise for you and 25 of your friends. Or gonna, you can fish around the board and I'm going to try some unexplored territory. I'm going right. to go under number nine. Number nine. And we have an entertainment center there. The other entertainment center on the top line, position number one. That'll slide into place behind you. And now we'll show you three pieces of the puzzle. It's always very difficult to solve the puzzle at this stage. Okay. So we'll take our first break, Eric, and when we come back, you'll pick again. Truth for the real Leonard Wolf. Please stand up. And consequences. <laughs> to tell the truth and the newlywed game. Tonight, starting at 8. Eric's applauding himself. He made the first match. He gets to continue. Do it. All right, we're going to try everybody's lucky number, number 13 in the middle. Ice cream for a year. Everybody, can, everybody loves ice cream. You bet. Even at the University of Delaware, right? All right. Uh, let's look for a while to the match under number 24. Stereo system, no match. Jennifer. Okay, let's start down in the bottom corner with number 25. Diamond and Diamond topaz. topaz. Right. Well, that'll be nice. How about over on the other side at number 21? Stereo system, oh. no match. You've helped Eric. I like that stereo system. Let's get 20, number 24 and the match under number 21. Right. Two in a row for Eric Simon. Let's take a look. Might as well pick again. Still nothing yet. All right, let's go up to the top. Uh, try number four. Wild card. All right, uh, and I'd like to open some of the puzzle under number eight. Red take, the other red take. Number 14. Here's this for insurance. Use it later on. Right now, we'll open three doors. Keep going. All right, number 16. Another wild card. Jennifer, what are you going to do with this guy? Oh, no. Awfully lucky. Yes, he is, but we're out of uh, wild cards, I believe. So. Since it's down there, I'd like to keep going with number 17. Right next to it? How about a Hawaiian holiday? 
The other Hawaiian holiday, will it be helpful? It's on the same line. Position number 20, open these three doors for him. Go again. Uh, let's try lucky number seven. Diamond topaz ring. Uh, I think we, s oh, wait, uh, try number three. No, oh. Jennifer knew. Jennifer knows where that ring is. Just about the only one I've opened so far, so number 25. Correct. And number seven for the match. That's right, a diamond topaz ring on the lady's side of the board, and she gets her first chance to solve the puzzle. Select again. Okay, let's go down to number 23. I don't believe we've seen that yet. Massage table. And number five, over in the corner. Oh. No. Oh, I didn't remember, I didn't remember Thank seeing you. it. You didn't, you didn't remember seeing it? No. Let's right. see if Eric remembers, it. Seeing, um, remembers go, seeing it. We're gonna go to number three. Three, oh. Yeah, massage and table. And number 23. Right. That's right. Now. You are in a position to use the tape because Jennifer has a diamond topaz ring up there. I'd like to take it. All right. Yeah. Let's give him the ring. Massage table's up there also, okay. and we'll open these two doors. Don't Go see again. It. All right, let's try number 11, please. Okay. 35 millimeter camera. And let's look under number 18. Green take, no match. Jennifer. Okay, let's go down to number 15. Cruise for 25 um, friends. That's what it was. And number 22, your favorite number. Here's her oh. 10 speed bike. Oh, no. Poor Jennifer. All right, Eric. All right, let's try number five. Those are the bicycles. And number two. Ooh, an oh. error on his part. Jennifer, here's okay. your chance. Maybe I'll come back here. Number 22. That's where the bicycles are. And the match with number five. Yeah. <laughs> Can you solve this puzzle, Jennifer Peterson? Go again. Okay, um, number 18. And number two. And number two for the green take. Now, we know the red take is no longer in play, don't we? Yes, we do. Y shall I even put it there? No, I don't think you have to. I'll take Hawaii. Give her the Hawaiian holiday. And open these two doors for her. Go again. OK, how about number 11? 35 oh, millimeter camera. How about number six? I don't think we've seen that yet. No? Ice, cream Ice cream for a year. year. Oh, Boy, this no. game is seesawing back and forth. Let's back go and forth. There number it. 13. Ice cream for and a year. number six. Ice cream for a year. Well, you still have a very impressive prize list on your side. Eric, are you going to get to keep them all? I hope so. I don't... Well, let's open the doors. Mouth and... Not yet. All you have to do is make one more match and you will have cleared the entire board. Number 15. Cruise for 25 friends. And number 19. 35 oh. millimeter camera. Jennifer? Okay, number 19. Yes. And a match under number 11. That's right. So the last ones will match automatically. Well, you've got the camera to enjoy on a Hawaiian holiday if you solve the puzzle. We'll open these two doors, and then we'll give you the cruise for you and 25 of your friends, Closest because that's friends. what we have under 10 and 15. Okay. And now, Jennifer Peterson, for a lead in the match, solve this puzzle. John Deere Tractor? Is it John Deere Tractor? <laughs> yes, it is. to the folks at home. They like to play along as well. Okay, um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a jaw. Okay, jaw in John, and then the D and the ear for deer, and then the track, the T, plus the or is tractor, John Deere tractor. John Deere tractor, and that solution is going to make you a very happy lady because you've won these prizes. A 35 millimeter camera, his and her 10 speed bikes, and a Hawaiian holiday.
We'll fly you in a companion from Los Angeles aboard Delta Airlines to Honolulu. You may visit the exclusive Crown Room Lounge before boarding a wild and flight experience. Warm and friendly hospitality furnished by Delta Airlines. And you'll stay six nights at the deluxe Hawaiian region located near Diamond Head overlooking Waikiki Beach. You may enjoy fine dining, sports shopping, and special luxury touches furnished by the Hawaiian region. And, of course, the exciting cruise for 25 friends and these prizes to Total four thousand six hundred and four dollars. You can use the cruise to launch your career here in Southern California. Jennifer was saying that she feels more nervous now than she did at the beginning of the game. We'll find out how that affects her in game number two. But for the moment, she's got the lead, and we've got to take this break. of the cruise for 25 close friends. Jennifer says she doesn't know 25 people. I certainly don't have 25 close friends, so that leaves me out. Invite some acquaintances, some other contestants. Okay. Is that a good deal? Sure. All right, you ready for game number two? Eric, you ready to go? Ready to go. Take a look over here. Here's one of the prizes you're playing for in this one. The classic look Adler & Company Brilliant Diamond Earrings are crafted in 14 karat gold and contain a total of 93 points of diamonds, adding sparkle to her wardrobe. Furnished by Adler & Company, Alex. Attractive jewelry, and we can find it on the board behind this door. Number seven. Holiday in Acapulco in this one. Eric, off you go. Two numbers, please. Okay, let's try number nine. Car telephone. And your lucky number, 22. Rope hammock. Jennifer, no match for him. Okay, let's go up to my birthday number one. Gold pencil and pen set. Okay, and let's what go... What month were you born? Not January. January. January? You're a New Year January baby. January 1st. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, I assume when yeah, you said well, number month. one. Okay. Um, and number 19. 
A recliner, no match. Oh. Eric? Uh, since we're on birthdays, let's go to mine number 25. Patio dining group. And a wild or the match under number 11. No gold pencil and pen set, and Jennifer okay. may capitalize. For that first prize, number 11. Right. And the match under number one. That's it. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Open it up. Go again. OK, let's go to number eight. Wild card. Oh. Now remember. That tripping off the poker. And you saw those diamond earrings. Oh, that's right, too. But I think I'm going to go for the trip for number four. Um, green tape. Well, I'll take it. Isn't that the way you started off in the last game? Yep. The other green no. tape is at number 17. Open it up. Three doors. Pick again. OK, number two. Acapulco. Acapulco. Picked the wrong one last time. And number 20. Red tape. tape. No match, but at least you've uncovered half of the trip. Eric. All right, let's look for Acapulco under number 14. Diamond and gold And I earrings. think they were under number 7. That's right. 7 and 14 made a good combination in terms of jewelry and in terms of control of the board. Let's see what happens. Can Eric solve it? Pick again, Eric. Right. All right, let's try number 15. Red take. Saw that already. And uh, the match under number 21. No table oh. tennis set there. OK, Jennifer. let's go to number 20. And number 15 for the 20 match, please. 20 and 15. Now you've got them both. He can't take anything away from you. You want to use it? Right? Well, of course you can. I'll have the gold and diamond earrings then. You will, huh? Sure. All right, sure. <laughs> Put the earrings on her side and show her these two pieces of the puzzle. Pick again. OK, let's go to number 23. 23. Wild card. And number two. And number two for Acapulco. If that holiday is going to be won, it'll be won by Jennifer. Where's the other one? Number 18, three pieces of the puzzle opening up for her benefit. Do you want to use the... Well, he doesn't have anything right now, so you can't use the take. I'm getting ahead of myself. Pick again, Jennifer. Okay, number 16. Patio dining groups. And did we see that under number 24? No, that's a word processor. Eric? All right, let's try to go up to number three. Rope hammock. And we saw that under number 21. No, no we, didn't. we didn't. Jennifer? Did we see that rope hammock under number 22? Yes. And number three? That's a match. Yeah. We've got four prizes up there. We've already got a game in hand. If you win this game, you'll have 50 seconds in which to win a brand new car. Solve this puzzle, Jennifer Peterson. Select again. Number 13, right in the middle. Word processor. And number 24. Word processor, and that's the match. Go again. Okay, Take a look. Um, no, just wait till we open the doors. Take a shot. Football major? Is it football major? <coughs> no, it is not. Select again. Sorry. Um, Don't be 10. sorry. Hey, you're, you're the one that's leading in the match, and you've got everything going for you here. Number 10, she called. Table tennis set. Is that down at number 21? Table tennis set, yes. <laughs> now can you solve the puzzle? <laughs> Eric may know it. And perhaps you do also, but will you have to make another match, Jennifer? Okay. There's a um, wild card still in play. Number tw 12. Recliner. Number 19. Recliner. <laughs> Eric's beside himself. He can't get back into this game. He figures, I can win it. I can tie the match. If only I can get a shot at it. But he'll have to wait. Open these two doors for Jennifer.
Pick again, Jennifer. Okay, um, number nine. Eric knows the odds are in your favor right now. And number six. Wild card. <laughs> the other card, telephone. Show it to her, number five. Put it in position, open these three doors, and now we'll show her 16 and 25. That was the one she missed earlier, the patio dining group. When we open these two doors, Jennifer, I want you to solve the puzzle, and if you do, you win every prize in this game. Can you do it? Eric's gonna steal one, maybe. Is it football injury? Looks like it to me. Is it football injury? to the board and as you go by look at all these prizes that you have prevented Jennifer from winning well we've got the foot over here and the ball football and and the jury football injury football injury no prizes for you but again I just hey, Jennifer I don't want to rub it in but you have everything oh. everything up there but that's no. okay we're going into our tiebreaker game we're going into the third and deciding game. This is the most important one because whoever wins this goes to the winner's circle with 50 seconds on the clock in which you could win a brand new car. Good luck to you both. Hands on your signaling buttons. Here comes the tiebreaker puzzle. Jennifer. Seeing double. Is it seeing double? <laughs> yes. Well, now, you should be very proud of yourself. That was a tough one. I'll show the folks at home why. Because you're confused here. You're looking at this saying, what is it? Is it med? Is it Mediterranean? Is it sea? Is this drop or ink? We know it's ink, but what are we going for? She put it together, I bet you, from the bottom. Dub. The dub plus the bull, double. And then she backed up and sea ink, double. Sea ink, double. Come on, Jennifer. <laughs> Eric, I thought you were gonna do it because you came from behind in that second game and That's didn't, all right. I didn't had a work good time. out for you. I'm glad you did. Okay. We've got some parting gifts for you backstage. Thank you for being Thank with you. us here on College Week. So long. <laughs> well, young lady. That was a nerve-wracking one, wasn't it? And that long game where you lost out on those prizes. Make up for it by winning a brand new car when we come back after this. Next on Card Sharks, can these players guess what fraternity men are thinking? I doubt it. Then, sail of the century school students on finding great deals. Stay tuned.
right, Jennifer. This is your moment. 50 numbered squares, 50 seconds on the clock. Win a brand new car. Good luck, off you go. One, two. No. Three, four. No. Five, six. No match. Six, two. No. One, six. Right. Seven, five. No. Eight, nine. No. Seven, 12. No. 12, four. No. Two, nine. Yes. 10, 14. No. 14, 12. No. Seven, 14. Right. 15, four. No. 13, 15. Right. 12, five. Yes. Eight, four. No. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Won some nice prizes. You did indeed. You have a Hawaiian holiday coming up. And a total of 4,604 for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's hear about another prize, Gene. Some of today's participants may receive Ricardo Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive 2 collection. Fully lined, lightweight, bright and cheerful luggage, high density nylon construction. Weekend around the world trips furnished by Ricardo Beverly Hills. We'll be back to Clash of Concentration in just a moment. without leaving your living room. $2,000 in cold cash. College Spring Break Week continues next on Buzzer. See you tomorrow. So long. Begin for classic concentration. A Mark Goodson television production. You can win $32,000 on the turn of a car on Card Shark. And if you play your cards right, you can win this beautiful car. And now, the host of Card Shark, Bob. You bet. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to have you with us. Hello and welcome to Card Sharks. When we left off last time, our two players were ready to play sudden death to find out who our champion is going to be. And one of our players today will have a chance to win a lot of money plus this beautiful car. Before we meet our Card Sharks, let's meet two beautiful ladies. Here they are, Lacey Pemberton and Susanna Williams. <laughs> You sneaked up on me. Once again, it's fun to sneak up on you. And you know, while you're standing right here, you know what I would like to do? Our director, Mark Breslow, is in the hospital. We'll be getting out. And we just want to say, Mark Breslow, we hope you get well real quick. And we miss you. But it's nice to have Andy Felton here. Yeah. Sudden death. Let's do that, can we? Okay. Okay. Come in here, Card Sharks. Let's play this game. Welcome back, Robin. Thank you, Bob. Hi, Bob. My name is Robin Chandler. I'm a student at the University of Southern California studying marketing. And I loved all outdoor sports and dancing. Oh, that's great. You like to dance. I love to dance. Well, I just don't dance well. I don't know. You won $900 so far. Yeah. You have to win this next game in order to stay in this match. And your challenger is Kathy, who has won the first game. And Kathy, welcome back to our show. Hi, thank you. I'm Kathy Cheatwood from Escondido, California. Uh, right now, I'm just a full-time mom taking care of my two boys, two and a half and two months. 
<laughs> you are more than full time. Two and a half and two months. The terrible twos in both ends. Huh? Both ends. All right. Well, you know how to play this game. We got it all set up. We are going to play Sudden Death. If Kathy wins the game, she's the champ. If Robin wins the game, we'll play a, a tiebreaker game. And the first question goes to you, Kathy. It involves our 10 college fraternity men and our studio audience. And they're back again with us today. Welcome back, fellas. Now, Kathy, before the show, we asked these 10 college men, has a girl ever walked out on you during a date? How many of these 10 college men said a girl has walked out on them? I know that several times when I was on when I was dating, I wanted to walk out on a date, but I never would. I would. Why think would you want to? Well, I had a couple guys get a little rude, so I wanted to leave. Oh. So I just got a headache real early and went home. But um, so I don't think they would. Girls always have headaches. Though. <laughs> headaches. It's amazing. I don't think I would walk away. So I think that number is going to be pretty low. I would say two. Two. Two out of the ten have had a girl walk out on them during a date. Robin. I think they all look like pretty upstanding young men over there. <laughs> Well-behaved manners, and I think it's going to be lower. They're going to be lower than yeah, the two? I think so. The actual number of these college men who said a girl has walked out during a date is three of them. <laughs> Wasn't lower, it was a little higher. Uh, all right, which three of you guys had a girl walk out? Oh. oh. The reason she walked out on Chris is he was asleep, just like he was right then. <laughs> Rick, why did the lady walk out? Well, it was my high school prom, man. Um, oh. <laughs> I, I, had, I had a lot of planning into it. We had a limo and had some champagne and everything, and uh -oh. we got in a fight, and she managed to take off with the limo. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, fellas, very much. Nice to have you back with us. Okay. Uh, now, death. let's play Sudden Death. Who has the control? Kathy, Kathy has, has the control. control. Kathy, these are your choices. You can play it out. You can either play the queen or change it, but if you goof, Robin wins the game. Or pass it on to Robin. She must play off of the seven. If she goofs, you win the game, the match, and we'll play for the big money. I'm going to pass it to pass Robin. Pass it to Robin. Okay, Robin, your fate is in your own hands. My dear, what do you say? I'm going to go higher. If it's higher, we will higher, play a tiebreaker please. game. If it's not higher, Kathy's the new champ. Higher than the seven? Yeah! <laughs> it is higher than the seven. And you've just won the game, Robin. Whoa! Okay, so one game for our champ, one game for our challenger. We'll set up for a tiebreaker game, and we'll pause for these words. We'll be right back with more card sharks. See you in just a moment, okay?
Welcome back to Card Charge. Now, the excitement is really going to begin because we're going to play a tiebreaker game. If you notice that Suzanne is going to deal out only three cards, we'll have a maximum of three high-low questions. The winner of this game is the champ. We'll play for the new car and all that money. So good luck to the two of you. Robin, the first question is yours, and here it is. Robin, in some countries, people like to eat frog's legs. So we surveyed 100 American third grade boys and we asked them, if your mom served you frog legs for dinner, would you eat them? How many third grade boys said they would eat frog's legs? Gosh, when you're in third grade, you're still playing around with them in the backyard. I think you don't want to eat them. You want to put them in a box. Um, I think it's going to be a low number. I know if my mom served me frog legs, there was no way I would eat them. It's going to be a low number. It's going to be 17. 17. They taste like chicken. That's 17. okay. I don't mind. <laughs> It's just trying to stab the little suckers on the plate, as you gave you, like that. <laughs> Kathy, will it be higher, higher or lower than 17? Well, I think if their mothers told them that it was frog legs, they would be very reluctant to eat them. But they, if they slipped it under, they would. I'm still going to say that number is going to be even lower than 17. Even lower than 17. <laughs> the actual number of third grade boys who would eat frog's legs is 11. Yes, it was lower than that. <laughs> they really taste good. I like them. Okay, Kathy. Three cards away from being our champ. Let's see if you do. Seven. Change that card, please. Yeah. Susanna has for you now a three. All right. Higher. Higher than the three. Eight. I'm going to say higher. She's going on. If it's higher, she's the new champ. Right. It is. <laughs> and we have a new champion. Thank you. Congratulations, you, Cam. Oh, Robin. $1,000. That's, that's, that's yours. Great. Thank you very much for being Thank with you us. Very and much. Good luck with your college career. Thank you. Bye bye. Come here, Kath. <laughs> oh, listen to that giggle. Okay. New cars. New cars. A new car. You can win all that money over there, too. That would be nice, okay. It certainly would. Okay, now it's when the fun really begins because Lacey and Susanna have a deck of cards that you cut before we went on the air. And they're going to start dealing those cards out right now. And in addition to all the money you can win, you also have a chance of winning this fabulous car. And we've added a couple of jokers in the deck. If those jokers come up, that simply helps your chances of winning that car. And let me tell you also that just for winning the match, just for being our champ, Susanna has a joker for you. So you know you have at least one chance. So you know how to play the game? Sure do. Ah, great. Remember, you can change one card per line. Give the lady $200. We're rooting for you, kid. We want you to win. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. With $200, your first card is an eight, and I'd you like can change. I'd like to change that card, yeah. please. Which one do you want? Oh, number two. Number two. The eight is, now it's a six. I'm going to say $100 higher. 100 higher than the six. La ha. Hello. Susanna, I have a joker for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I wake here. you? I'm yeah, sorry. I know. It's a rough <laughs> night. The girl had a hard <laughs> night last night. Now, six, you still got $200. What do you want to do? I'm going to say $100 higher again. Higher again for $100. No. Oh, that's it's all okay. right. You still got $100. You played it wisely. I'm going to say $50 higher. $50 higher than the five. Now you're on a roll. $100 and a half. I'm going to say $100 lower. $100 lower than the king. Nine. $250. Give you another $400. You got $650. The nine is your card. I'm going to change that card with number one, please. Number one. All right. Come on. There's some good cards now. Thank you, Lace. There. Ugh. Eight, six fifty. I'm gonna say one hundred dollars higher than the eight. One hundred higher than the eight. No, not there. Five fifty. I'm gonna say one hundred dollars higher. One hundred dollars higher than the six. There, that's better. Six fifty now. I'm gonna say one hundred dollars lower. One hundred dollars lower than the jack. Yeah, seven fifty. I'd like to change that card, please. Change the 10. After the show, you and I will go out and burn this deck of cards, OK? <laughs> the 10 is a 7. Oh. Maybe we should burn them right now. Let's not wait <laughs> after the show. Got to bet at least 375. You've got 750. I'm going to say $400 higher. Come on. Be there. 400 higher than the 7. No! <laughs> that brings you down to $350. Doggone it. It's okay, we're going to win cars. a car. That's we're going right. to win That's a car. Right. Come right over here. Stand right here for okay. me. Because if you remember, before we woke Susanna up, yes, she, <laughs> only kidding her. You have two jokers. I want you to hang on to those jokers because Lacey has over there seven numbered cards. Behind one of them is the word car. And here's Gene to tell you all about that car. Gene? It's the Renault Alliance GL convertible from Renault. Designed from the inside out with a passenger in mind. Comes with standard features and California mission. Good luck, Kathy. Thank you, Gene. 
Kathy and I were just commenting, ugly cards. Ugly cards. Now, let's win a car. Okay. Go over there and find them, kid. You got two chances of winning a brand new car. Number two. Number six. Oh, good luck to you. Oh, I hope. We are truly rooting for you. We want you to drive home in a new car. All right. Be there. Behind two. Word no. Not there. Still got another chance. Is it behind number six? Come on. A new car behind number six. Oh, it wasn't there. You were so close to it. Look here. Oh. There it is right there. Doggone it. Okay, but you're still the champ. That's you got $275. Right. Next time. Still the champ if you win the match next time. That means that you will tie it all over again. Yeah. 550 is what your total is. All right, we're going to pause for these words. We'll meet a new challenger right after these messages, so don't go away. Welcome back to Card Sharks. Boy, Kathy, you just had ugly, ugly cards. Awful. Maybe they'll be a little better this time Let's because hope. Susanna's going to deal them out in just a moment after we meet your new challenger. John, please join us. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you, Kathy. How are you, sir? Hi, I'm John Eisen. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm a stockbroker, and I just came back from my honeymoon a few days ago. Did you really? Yeah. Boy, have I got a show for you? <laughs> really? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Card sharks. I was <laughs> hoping you'd say that. So you live in Phoenix. <laughs> yes. Nice town. Love it. You know how to play this game, I assume. I will learn. Well, I'm sure you will. This lady's next, a little tough next to you, though, so be careful. All right, so Susanna's dealing out the cards, win two games, and you're the champ. And let's go right now with our first question in game number one. Kathy, it's your question. This is an educated guest question. Kathy, for many years, or I should say how many years, has Fidel Castro ruled Cuba? For how many years has he ruled Cuba? I know nothing about Fidel Castro. I should ask He speaks husband. well of you, though. <laughs> I will say 12. 12 years. John, what do you say about this? Well, I've seen recent pictures of Fidel, and it's taken him at least 12 years to grow his beard, so I think it's going to be a bit higher. And to get all the varmints out of it. That's right. <laughs> the actual number of years that Fidel Castro has ruled Cuba is 28. Yeah. Yes, it was higher. All right. 
John, welcome to our show. You know you can change this question if you want to. You won the question. Here we are. Change the card. Uh, Use. I think we'll keep that one, Bob. Higher. You gonna keep that card? I think so. You fool. <laughs> oh, is it higher than the deuce? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know something he didn't. Wow. <laughs> is that bad? Now you don't feel so bad, do you, Kathy? All right, Kath, here's a card for you. I'm gonna say higher. Higher than the five. It I'm gonna is. say lower. Lower than the ace. It certainly is. I'm gonna is. say lower. Lower than the queen. No. Oh. Oh. Yes. This must be the week. I don't know what's going on here, folks. All right, well, let's try it again. What the heck? John, we, get it right. we will do that. Here's a question for you. Surveyed 100 single women. You remember single women, don't you? Yes. Yeah, I've heard of those. 100 <laughs> single women who are dating a married man. And we ask them, if your married boyfriend left his wife and proposed marriage to you, would you accept? How many single women would accept their married boyfriend's proposal? Well, obviously, not having any personal knowledge of this subject. Um, Why'd you wink at me? <laughs> I thought maybe you did. No, sir. I just went white. <laughs> Don't ever wink at me again. <laughs> I mean, this guy just got uh, <laughs> winking at the host. I, well, Bob, I think that's going to be a low number, and I think it's going to be... How many single women would accept their married boyfriend's proposal? Okay, I think it's going to be about 27. 27. Kathy, higher or lower than 27? I think that if they're dating a married man, they know the, they know the consequences, and they're still taking the risk, I'm going to say that number is going to be higher. Higher. Yes. The actual number of single women who would accept their married boyfriend's proposal is 64. Yes, it was higher. Kathy. Now, you want to change the five or play the five? I'm going to play the five and go higher. All right, we're going to keep that card. Higher, it is not. Uh. <laughs> John, free chance. Let's try higher. We will try higher. Let's try lower. We will try lower. Let's try higher. Is it higher? Yes. Free. Okay. Ice went through his veins. You see that? <laughs> All right. John is one card away from winning game number one. And we must pause. We'll be right back with more card sharks right after this. Take right away. Next, Family Feud takes the collegiate battle off the football field and onto the podium as college spring break week continues. Then it's match game. Stay tuned.
Let's continue with this match to find out who our champion is going to be. Kathy, the next question is yours, and this question involves our 10 college fraternity guys down there in the audience. <laughs> now, Kathy, before the show, we asked these 10 college men, have you ever handed in a paper someone else had really written? <laughs> By the way, we, we, have, we have promised these guys that uh, we would not reveal their answers on camera. <laughs> How many of these 10 college men admitted they have handed in a paper someone else has written? I would hope that none of them have, but I know that's not true. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the 10, I'm going to say five, right down the middle. Five of them. Five of them. What do you think, John? Higher or lower than that? Well, contrary to popular belief, it looks like it could be an intelligent, you know, fraternity house there, maybe. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot lower. I think it'd be lower than that. Yeah, I think so. The actual number of these college men who have handed in a paper someone else had written is seven of them have. <laughs> wow, and I won't even ask you guys. Okay, this has nothing to do with the question, so everybody at home, please understand. But uh, Patrick, would you step up on stage? I want everybody to see these shorts, you guys. That's far enough, Patrick, right there. That's, uh, those are some, it, in the middle of, thank you very much, Patrick, that's great. His mother dresses in funny. <laughs> I wouldn't wear those to bed, much less to a game show. <laughs> Who's got the control? Kathy, Kathy, what do you want to do with this five? I'm going to say higher again. Well, keep the five and go higher. Yep. Lower. Is it lower than the jack? Sure. All right. Good. Lower. Lower than the ten. No. Oh. All right. All right. And there you go. And that means that John, get a free chance with that seven, my friend. Lower, Bob. If it's lower, then you win game number one. Let's see if it is lower. Nope, Ooh. not lower. It's all right, it was a free chance. And still, we didn't make any progress. Sudden death time. Fourth and final question of the game, which means that someone has got to win the game on the next play of the cards. It's really a control. It's what you're looking for. John, it's your question. We surveyed 100 <coughs> psychiatrists, and we asked them, generally speaking, should a couple expect just as much passion after 10 years of marriage as they had as newlyweds? Listen to John sigh. <laughs> How many psychiatrists said they should expect just as much passion after 10 years? <laughs> well, being newly married, I'd like to expect it, but I don't you think... You winked at me again, John. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous habit, Bob. <laughs> don't take it personal. <laughs> then let's just tell everybody you're signaling for a right turn, okay? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a low number, about 27. About 27 out of 100 psychiatrists said you should expect just as much passion after 10 years. Kathy, higher or lower than that? Well, I know that I've been married almost five years, and there's just as much passion today as there was when we were married. So I'm going to hope that this number is higher. Hope it's higher. You know what? I, I think people have to work on it. I agree. I mean, if, if, I you agree. know, if you, sure. Oh, I know. The actual <laughs> number of psychiatrists said a couple should expect just as much passion after 10 years is... 23. No, yeah. not higher. It was a little bit lower. We're playing sudden death. Now, John, you have the control. You can change the seven, play it out. But if you goof, Kathy wins the game. Or you can pass it on to Kathy with the five. If she goofs, you win the game. We'll pass it. Pass it on to Kathy. All right, okay. here we go, Kath. I'm going to say higher. It is higher. I'm going to say higher. Higher again. It is not. Oh! That means that, John, you've just won game number one and $100. All right. Now, you got $100. Most important, you've got the first game. Win the next game, and you're our champ. We're going to set them up from the same deck. Susanna will deal out the cards. And here we go with our first question of game number two. Kathy, we surveyed 100 retired senior citizen men. We asked them, if you were offered a terrific job tomorrow, would you take it? How many retired men said they would take the job? I think that number is going to be a small one. I know that my grandfather's retired, and I think he's enjoying his retirement. So I'm going to say that number will be low. 27. 27 out of 100. John? Well, I'm, I'm told once you're retired, you're six feet under. So I would hope that, you know, they're not too retired. Uh, I think a lot of them would be happy to be retired. I think it's going to be lower. You think it'd be lower than that? Yeah. The actual number of retired men who would take the job is 41 would. No. Isn't that an interesting question, though, huh? All right. Kathy, this is it. Higher. Higher than the deuce. Yeah. Higher again. Higher than the four. Yes. I'm going to freeze. She's going to freeze. And she will freeze right there. And while she's frozen, 
We will pause for these commercial words and don't go away. We'll be back with more card shots. spring break without leaving your living room so pack your bags with your favorite snacks a big deck of cards and your family's tagging along too college spring break week continues next on buzzer let's play welcome back to card sharks that's all the time we have for today which means we got to pick it up next time right here so i'm sure you guys will be back with us and we certainly hope that you'll be back with us too Ladies, would you join me? It's time for us to say goodbye. For Susanna Williams, Lacey Pemberton, Gene Wood, and the whole gang, I'm Bob Eubanks saying thank you very much for watching Card Sharks, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. This is Gene Wood speaking for Card Sharks, a Mark Goodson television production. All week, college students from across the country will be competing for fantastic prizes, including this sailboat, beautiful his and her watches, and a trip to Paris. One of them will win the grand prize, this fabulous Jeep worth over $13,000. It's Pep Rally Week on Sail of the Century. And now, here's the star of the show, Jim Perry. Thank you, gang. Appreciate it. Hello there. Oh, I got two. Pep Rally Week continues. A lot of nice college people. We're having a lot of fun with it. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. We've got three young people sitting over there ready to go, so Summer Bartholomew will introduce them. Hello there, Summer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just move the basket around. That's all. This contestant is a student at Stanford University from Huntington Beach, California. Let's welcome Amy Burzin. Hello, Amy. And we take in from the top left from Hyman, Massachusetts. And that big hand, too, Brian Lemoff. Hello there, Brian. And she's a cheerleader at California Baptist College, originally from Lompoc, California. Here's Mitch Gaines. Hello there, Mitch. And we'll see you later with some bargains. I'm sure you have some more good ones for the young funny. people, right? Okay. Uh, Amy from Stanford University. That's right, Jim. I'm going to be a senior this year, and that's where I'm majoring in American Studies and with an emphasis in communications, and I hope to eventually pursue a career in journalism. Well, good. Good for you. Nice school. Nice to have you here. You. And uh, Brian, you are from the state of Maine, huh? No, actually, Jim, I'm from the state of Massachusetts. Oh, Massachusetts. See, see I always, see, when I look at CMA, are you like I am? I never get those two letter things right. MA is Massachusetts, M -A right? ME is Maine. ME is, thank you, Brian. Would you like to sit over here and ask the questions? <laughs> <laughs> Caltech, huh? That's right. California Institute of Technology. I'm a senior majoring in physics, and I'm a third baseman on the Caltech baseball team. Well, good for you. Nice to have you here, and I appreciate you straightening it out. Nice to have you here from back east. And Mitch, uh, cheerleader at Cal Baptist College. 
Yes, Jim, I'm a cheerleader at Cal Baptist. This is my first year, and I'm also using other energies by double majoring in both English and education. I plan to be a teacher and teach foreign children. Oh, well, we got your work cut out for her with a double major. Good for you. Nice to have you here as well. Well, good luck to all three of you, and we've got some great prizes for the, um, for the young people during Pep Rally Week. And uh, the winner of today's match, great trip to Hawaii. That's what they get for winning the match. And, of course, the track of the winner's big money game. Here we go. $20 starts you all off. And let's get into the match with this question. On what TV sitcom does teen heartthrob Kirk Cameron Mitch? Growing Pains. That's the show. Yeah, you got it out. I think right ahead of the judge. Five dollars for the correct answer. You're at 25. In what court sport would you see a bunch of players dunking and dribbling? Brian. Basketball. Just like me at the beginning. Basketball and interest. You go to 25. What two initials do we use for a person who plays records on the radio? Brian. DJ. DJ is right. And you go to 30 in the lead. In the popular saying, an apple a day keeps who, Brian? The doctor. Yes, indeed. That's who you keep away, and Brian, the 35. The top-selling candy at New York City newsstands guarantees to melt in your mouth, Brian? M&M's. Not in your hand. Yeah, it is. It's specifically peanut M&M's, and Brian goes to 40. Time for an instant bargain. Player in the lead can buy bargain merchandise. Well, we had a question about basketball, and I came out with a basketball. Coincidentally, Brian, you have the lead and a very unusual instant bargain that could be yours. Look at this. Brian, obtain the home court advantage with this. Basketball skill game for home or office. Emphasizes the same skill requirements of the commercial models. Features electronic scoreboard and two basketballs. Yours with a gift certificate from the price of his toys and it's normally priced at $895 but today on sale of the century features for only six dollars oh Brian I gotta try it once David let me see I gotta try it once okay oh dog on it all right <laughs> let me get back over here that's terrific Brian a neat thing, uh, 895 You could have a lot of fun with the guys with that. I sure I could. Cost you just six. If you bought it, you would still have the lead. You'd have a $9 lead. Your first opportunity to buy, I'd like you to have fun with that. So I'll give you $200 in cash to go oh. with it over a $1,000 bargain for six. Brian, going once, gonna buy. That should be a lot of fun. Over a thousand with the cash for just six dollars. Enjoy that, Brian. I hope you play it better than David. We'll knock the six off. You're still in the lead. And better than me, too. I missed also, but never mind. On what TV show could you see couples sharing their first date experiences, Brian? The Dooliewet Game? No. With host Chuck Woolery. That's Love Connection. Brian loses five. Still in the lead, but it's been, it's very close now. Less than two questions between the players. In what U.S. state can you drive your Ford from Pontiac to Plymouth? Brian? Michigan. Michigan is right. Brian back up with a $30 mark. The cover of Rolling Stone has been graced 13 times by the leader of the Rolling Stones, Brian. Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger. Yeah, sounds like you're a fan of Jagger. And you're back to 39. Fame game now, as we play for control of the fame game board, we're looking for the identity of a famous person. I am an actor who was receiving 5,000 fan letters a week before I was 20. I was born in Brooklyn in 1961, began modeling and making commercials at age 11. I played the title role in Bugsy Malone, but it was the TV show Happy Days that made me a star. Brian. Henry Winkler. No, out of the rest of the question, though he appreciates it being born in 1961. We'll clear it, continue for Amy and Mitch. I played, uh, I played in Happy Days that made Mitch. Scott Baio. Scott Baio is right, yes, and you've got control of the board. $10 money card wears, son. Number eight. Lights are flashing, we lock into your buzzer there, Mitch. Good luck. $10 money card now. No, that's off. It lands on number seven, and she gets... It's the bread maker. Hitachi's Home Bakery. Automatic bread and dough maker. Enjoy all kinds of delights without needing. Freshly baked bread, hot from the oven, furnished by Hitachi. That's worth over $300. That should be a lot of fun, Mitch. Do you ever do any baking? Yes, I do like to bake. Well, then you will enjoy that, and that's yours to keep no matter how you finish in the game. Very nice young man, Scott Baio. We, we know, of course, a lot of the uh, shows he's done, the comedies like Happy Days and Joni Loves Ch Chachi. But don't forget, for a dramatic role, he had an Emmy nomination for Stoned. Did a great job in that. We'll be right back.
Ryan in the lead at 39, Mitch at 25, Amy at 20. Here's a question for five. Traditionally, what sweet red fruit is sliced and served? Apples. Amy? Apples. What's that? Apples. No. <laughs> Apple shortcake, my favorite. Sliced and served with shortcake, strawberries. Quick buzzer cost you five, Amy. Sorry about that. The female folk singer who has become an overnight sensation with her hit record, Fat <laughs> Mitch? Tracy Weber? No. Oh, we got the Tracy, but no. Fast car? Tracy Chapman. Couldn't come up with it, and you lose five. For what big school celebration do former alumni come back, Brian? Homecoming. Homecoming it is, and Brian goes over the $40 mark. What kind of poisonous creatures are tarantulas and black widows, Brian? They're spiders. And Brian goes to 49, starting to pull it out a little bit. And Brian, instant bargain, and we've got a great one. Oh, I think you might like this. Brian, you won't need to study up for this prize. A handsome antique school desk, beautifully crafted of sturdy pine, may make a lovely reminder of school days gone by from the Antique Guild. And to make writing those reports a whole lot easier, the Video Writer Word Processor, a self-contained personal writing system, includes keyboard, screen, memory, dictionary, and printer. The Video Writer Word Processor furnished by Magnavox, and it's normally priced at $1,547. But today on sale of the Century Church for only ten dollars. Well, big buy. Did you see this? Just because I missed that basket, my son got to the board. Physical education F for basketball. I can still change the will, kid. Not Brian. One thousand five hundred and forty-seven dollars. The video writer, the table. The, it's that's a lot fancier great. than my typewriter. I'll I would that. think that would be kind of neat. It would cost you just ten, and if you bought it for ten, you would still have the lead. You would be at thirty-nine and still a nineteen-dollar lead. Fifteen hundred forty-seven dollar. I'm going to leave it right where it is. It's a great buy for ten bucks, Brian. Going once, going twice, going to buy. That should be wonderful. Enjoy that. Very big buy with a big lead. $1,547 will knock off just $10, and you are still in the lead. Bill Cosby better move over because now the highest paid entertainer is this mega. Mitch? Oprah Winfrey? No. The megastar singer of the Bad and Thriller albums. Yeah, Michael Jackson. $97 million over the last couple of years. Poor Bill just made $92 million. Oh, let's take up a collection for Bill. <laughs> we'll knock off the five there, Mitch. Sorry about that. If you wanted to sail from the Ivory Coast to the Cape of Good Hope, you'd have to go to what continent? Brian. Africa. Nicely solved. Brian, uh, you, uh, Africa it is. You're back over 40. To get your heart going, you might take one of these gym classes, which combines ex Brian? Aerobics. Exercise and music. Aerobics is right, and Brian making a strong move. What part of your body can you bob butcher spike? Amy, I think it was after the buzz. Oh, we'll, we'll accept that? Yes, okay, Amy? Your hair, too? Yes, indeed, your hair, you go back to 20, right. You can bob it, you can get a butch haircut or a spike haircut, and Amy goes back to 20. Talking about hairstyles, when Dolly Parton was asked how long it takes to do her hair, she replied, I don't know, I'm never there when they do my hair. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>
Some of today's Sale of the Century participants will receive just point and shoot with Vivitar's PS135 camera. Autofocus, auto exposure, automatic film loading. Beautiful 35 millimeter photographs furnished by Vivitar. And now back to Sale of the Century. Back to the match. Brian's pulled out a pretty good lead there. Brian, who was originally from Maine, but he moved to Massachusetts just to make me comfortable. Brian at 49, Amy at 20, Mitch at 15. Back to the fame game. So, ladies, if you want to catch up, you might need a $15 money card up there. We're looking for a famous place. I am a co-educational university founded in 1842 in the American Midwest. My landmarks include the log chapel, a replica of my first building, and the replica of a famous European shrine. While I was founded by Roman Catholics, students of all faiths are welcome. Bordering my campus is my stadium, where my football team, the Fighting Irish, Brian. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah, you hear the Fighting Irish. Gotta be Notre Dame. And Brian gets control. $15 money card. Where is it? It's behind number one. Well, you can add to that lead now, Brian. We lock into your buzzer. Good luck. $15 money card now. He hits it. We add that $15 to Brian's score. He jumps up into an even bigger lead. But remember, at the end of this segment, $2,000 is on the line that might tempt him. We'll see. Here's a question for five. For his work against apartheid, the 1984 Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to South African Bishop Brian... Desmond Tutu. You are right, and Brian is 69. Real-life pals River Phoenix and Martha Plimpton star with Judd Hirsch in a new movie called Running on... Brian? Empty. Empty is right. Brian over the $70 mark. According to the New Testament, before he died, who had to wear a crown made of thorns? Amy. Jesus Christ. That's exactly right. Jesus Christ, it is your 25. But now, as promised, Brian, you have the lead and a bit of a problem here. Two boxes have $100 bills. One is worth, as it will be throughout Pep Rally Week, $2,000. Cost the amount of your lead if you want to go for it. The question is, how confident are you you can regain that lead? You are at $74. Amy is in second place at $25. At the risk of your lead, going once, going twice, no sale. Too big a lead. It was in number two. Number two had the $2,000 and not the one he would have picked. Well, it's going to be Catch Brian time as we continue right after this commercial time out. That's tough when you get that big a lead. Next, Family Feud takes the collegiate battle off the football field and onto the podium as college spring break week continues. Then, it's match game. Stay tuned.
From California Institute of Technology, Brian Lemoff has a pretty good lead right now. Brian at 74, Amy at 25, Mitch at 15, but we do have a ways to go, so don't be discouraged. If you like pirate adventures, you might read Robert Louis Stevenson's classic novel, Brian. Treasure Island. Gotta be, Brian at 79, yes. You can visit historic Fort McHenry while visiting the largest city in Maryland. What city? Mitch. Annapolis. No, no, the largest Fort McHenry is at Baltimore. Baltimore, cost you five, sorry about that, Mitch. In 1986, Cory Aquino made big news when she became the president, Brian? The Philippines. Philippines it is, Brian, over the $80 mark. And Amy admits if you're gonna catch him, might need that $25 money card, final fame game and a famous person. I am a caricaturist, copper engraver, and dentist who owes some of my fame to a famous poem. I was born in Massachusetts in 1735, the son of a silversmith. Brian. Paul Revere. Nicely done. Yeah, you've got control of the board. $25 money card. Where is it? game number five. Well, we lock in. You hit one money card already, Brian. Good luck. Come on. $5 money card. $25 money card. No. He hits a $10 money card. <laughs> I would think with the lead he has, Brian might have been saying, no money card. Let me see what else I can find. <laughs> We'll add the $10 to Brian's score. And now, and of course, Brian might need every dollar because there's a trip to Hawaii on their line right now as we finish up the match with the speed round. 60 seconds, please. And Brian with a big lead, but a lot of questions as we start the speed round now. What car company manufactures Accords, Preludes, and Civics? Mitch. Ford. Wrong. Paul Newman teaches Tom Cruise how to hustle pool. Brian. The color of money. Right. What soup company claims that its products are mm, good? Brian. Campbell's. Right. When you're nervous about exams, you might be described as sitting on pins and... Amy. Needles. Right. What large furry animal would you find on the state flag of California? Brian. A bear. Right. Probably one of the first books you learned to read was called Fun with Dick and... Amy. Jane. Right. Name the sexy young actress from Family Ties who starred in the movie Satisfaction. Brian. Justine Bateman. Right. At a party, you might show what you know by playing the board game called Trivial... Brian. Pursuits. Right. What novel originally titled The Emerald City told the tale of Dorothy and Toto? Amy. The Wizard of Oz. Right. What name is shared by both the piano piece for beginners and the eating utensils of China? Mitch. Chopstick. There you go. Name the early American president who called his home Mount Vernon. Brian. Thomas Jefferson. Wrong. Oh. With what geometric shape do we associate a time is up? And Brian, what a big win. Yes. Back to Brian in a moment. First of all, the one that Mitch missed, uh, Accords, Preludes, Civics, on the, yeah, I know you know it. They just come so quick. And uh, the one that Brian missed, Mount Vernon, is the home of George, George Washington. Washington. Well, he didn't know all of them, but he got a lot of them. <laughs> Back to the chap in a moment. We do have to say goodbye to Amy and Mitch. And Amy didn't pick up anything along the way. We have some nice parting gifts for you, though, in the cash in front of you. Thank you for I joining had a us. Great time. That's nice to hear. Good luck with your studies this time. Nice to have you here. And Mitch, you got the bread maker you said you could use with the cash. It's three hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Thank you, and Thank you very good luck much. with your double major there. <laughs> Appreciate you joining us. But the day belongs to Brian Lemoff, and again, our congratulations, Brian, with a Thank big you, win for that. We've got a big trip, Don, if you will. Hip, hip, hooray, Brian, you're on your way to fabulous Hawaii. Pleasant Hawaiian holidays, exciting week for two in famous Waikiki, including air transportation from Los Angeles, luxury accommodations, and a car for a day, furnished by Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays. This prize is worth $2,748. Great trip, Brian. You will enjoy that. I right, sure will. Now he joins me to try for $5,000 in cash with the winner's big money game. Come on, Brian. <laughs> you know, I almost thought you were going to go for that instant cash, no, thinking no, you no. could regain that lead. I it's a lot different than the regular game. Yeah, there's a lot of questions in there. All right, Brian, now you've got a great trip, so relax, but you are now trying for $5,000 in cash. Three envelopes for you, red, yellow, or blue. Which ones are going to be? Well, blue is a Caltech color, so got to go with blue. All right, for Caltech, we'll go with the blue. Four puzzles in 20 seconds, and the $5,000 is yours. Now, remember, the clock starts when the first word of each puzzle is revealed. It stops when you hit that plunger to give me an answer. So as soon as you know it, stop that clock right, right away. Good luck. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's see you do it now, Brian. And the first puzzle starts now. Cartoon duo battles Joker. Yes? Batman and Robin. You got him. That's right. That's your first correct answer. You look at the three more before the clock hits double zero. There comes your first. And now let's take a look at the next puzzle. Now, state 
where Pikes... Yes, Colorado. Pikes Peak, Loris Climbers, good job. Colorado it is. Now you've got yourself ahead. 12 seconds on the clock at the halfway mark. Stay on that pace and you have it. Let's look at the next puzzle. Now, baseball team, Tommy Lasorda, yes? The L.A. Dodgers. That's right, loudly manages, as a matter of fact. The Dodgers it is. Seven seconds, stop that clock before it hits the double zero with the correct answer, and you've got it. We're with you now, Brian. Let's see you do it with the next puzzle now. Comics, Saturday morning playhouse is... Oh, you know it? No. Pee-wee's Playhouse, Pee-wee Home. Oh. Pee-wee's Playhouse, I thought you'd get it. Oh, you! I thought I thought it was a lock, Brian. I'm sorry. I no idea. That. No, no idea. Well, see that you you don't you don't watch those intellectual shows, huh, Brian? That'll that'll do it every time. But you do. You've got a great trip to Hawaii and the possibility of a lot more. We'll talk about that right after this commercial time. Don't go there. Oh, I thought you had it. I thought as soon as I said playhouse that you were going to jump in now. I heard the audience. They all know that. Oh, TV coming. You can't feel badly about that. If you didn't know it, you didn't know it. spring break without leaving your living room. So pack your bags with your favorite snacks, a big deck of cards, extra cash, $2,000, and your family's tagging along too. College Spring Break Week continues next on Buzzer. He likes the beach. Bam! Let's play. Well, I can't Brian Lemoff, and again, our congratulations. You've got, you've done very, very well. You've got that great trip to Hawaii. Summer's got something to make you comfortable up there going to Hawaii. There you go, a little surfboard and some tickets. Don't feel bad, Summer, because the next, on our next show, it's going to be a trip to Bulgaria, and you're going to bring out weights. It'll be wonderful. Brian, you'll be back at the end of uh, Pep Rally Week. You'll have a shot at that car. Looking could, forward could to be it. yours. Brian will be back with a very good day. $5,390. Pep Rally Week continues next time on Sale of the Century. Bye for now. Can you serve for the $100? Tale of the Century stars Jim Perry. This is Don Morrow speaking. The 
University of Southern California Trojans, Jennifer Fitzgerald, Sally DiMaggio, Sean Kilofsky, Nicole Foyer, Katie Huck. The UCLA Bruins, Julie Lips, Jenny Greeley, Kim Myers, Debbie Apple, Jennifer Weiler. Battling for Family Feud's Collegiate Championship. And here's the Dean of Family Feud, Professor Ray Combs. Thank you so very much. Hello to the UCLA Bruin lovely women. It is the USC lovely Trojan women. Thank you, my friends in the studio audience. If you've just tuned in, it's a very special week here. We, are, we have two beautiful teams, two great schools, a rivalry I don't have to talk about. But who will play for $5,000? Will it be the USC Trojan women, headed by Jennifer Fitzgerald? Hi, Hi Jennifer. Hi. Now, you're, you're all students at yes. USC. You'll want to take home $5,000. Yes. Right on. You're excited. Right on, Sally right said. On. Okay. <laughs> She, so you're, you're a writer, probably, there. <laughs> Jennifer, tell us who you brought quickly. Okay, I brought Sally DiMaggio. She's a Delta Gamma. She's a what? Oh. Delta Gamma. Delta Gamma. <laughs> I brought Sean Polofsky. She's a Chi Omega. Chi Omega. I brought Nicole Flyer. She's a Sigma Kappa. Yes. <laughs> and on the end is Katie Hutt. She's a Kappa Kappa Gamma. She's a Kappa Kappa Gamma. Well, I wish you a lot of luck, because you're going to have to beat five very determined ladies from UCLA. <laughs> Julie, Julie Lips. Uh -huh. what, a, what a wonderful name, Julie Lips. <laughs> now, who did you bring to help you defeat those women from USC? Well, I brought the lovely Jenny, yes. and then we have Kim, and yes. then we have Debbie, and then we have Jennifer in the end. All right. <laughs> Two great teams. Only one will play for the five thousand dollars to do it. We gotta play the feud. First team to three hundred dollars will win the game. Play fast money for the 5000 You might note that the gentlemen are behind you cheering you on from your respective schools. The top five answers are on the board. We ask 100 people this question. Try to give me the most popular answer. Listen carefully. Name something that parents do when they try to act like cool teenagers. What do you say, Jennifer? Watch TV. They uh, watch TV. <laughs> just don't, don't move. It didn't make our survey. Julie? Something that parents do when they try to act like cool teenagers. I would say they use slang. They would use yeah. slang. <laughs> Talk like teens. Think of a steal. All right, nice, nicely done. Yeah, we need the dings and buzzes, because I don't think you got the full effect of that buzz. I mean, yeah. at home it sounds normal, but on this stage, we like it to rock you when you know that you've been, you've been wrong. Jenny? Hi. Now, are you anything like a Gamma Gamma Delta? Demma? I'm a Kappa Delta. Ka Kappa Delta. And I fly Delta most often. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we are looking for something that parents do when they try to act like cool teenagers. They dress like teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> they dress. Your mom does? Do they dress like teenagers? Number one, 43 people. Could belong to the USC women if you get the chance to steal. Clean sweep, maybe you can. What do you say? I think they hang out with their kids' friends. Oh, hang out with their kids' friends. You can also go to jail for that. Let's see uh, if it made the survey. Hang out with your teenage kids' friends. Good, good try. Good try, Kimberly. Debbie? Welcome to the show. Thanks. Now, do you have an answer that'll keep the team rolling? I hope so. And what would that be? They listen to rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. See, the difference is, parents, though, to them, rock and roll is Bill Haley. You see, they're going, <laughs> we're here. Rock around the club with rock and roll. <laughs> listen to team music. Well, it's looking good. Okay. Jennifer, keep it going. They go out to nightclubs. Do parents, in an attempt to act like a teenager, go to a nightclub? No! That's two strikes. USC women, that could be your bank, Julie. Keep your team alive. Well, I'd say my mom does this at least. She watches teen movies, like the things that we're talking about, the movies. Teen movies. Certain movies, right? Let me see teen movies. 
Not there. Seventy-six dollars could come right here. Name something, Katie, that parents do when they try to act like cool teenagers. Katie, one answer. Um, talk on the phone a lot. Talk on the phone a lot. Nicole? Do a lot of sports. A lot of sports. Sean. Dance. Dance, Sally. Drive fast sports cars. Drive sports cars. Now, Jennifer, Drive with them or on your own, two Drive answers will steal you the bank. Drive your teammates give you some help, Drive and fast. I need an answer right now. Drive fast. They they drive fast. They would drive fast. Yeah. If it's not there, $76 goes to the UCLA Bruins. Is it driving fast? No! We heard some different answers, didn't we, rather than driving? Let's see what would have stolen you the bank. When parents try to act cool like teenagers, our survey thought they did number three. Dance, Dance! like... Yeah, okay. Dance like teens. And number five. Make a <laughs> when they try to dance like a team. We're coming back with a lot more feet and fun going all the way to $300. Hurry back. Let your body do the talking. Dance. Come on. Yeah. Body language. Tomorrow starting at 9. It's all about the motion, baby. Top six answers are on the board, Sally. Get ready. A baseball game begins with the first pitch. Tell me the exact term for the start of any other sport. Jenny? Play ball. Let me see. Let's play ball. Okay. Stay right here. Stay right here. Sally? Okay, the kickoff. The exact term is a kickoff. Number one. Jenny, which one says play ball? Oh, baseball. Okay, I thought we just... Sometimes it's a little more difficult. Think of that steal. All right. Sean? Sean, you've got that look like I didn't do my homework. I'm thinking, Ray. Okay, I'd have to say punt. All right, now here's the question. Did you say that? Here's the question. A baseball game begins with the first pitch. Tell me the exact term for the start of any other sport. I don't know what sport would begin with punt, but you've got a pretty bad team if you're starting with a punt. All right. Okay, okay. Was it the now, wait a minute, Judge. What do we do here? You said punt. The gym. So I'm sorry, Sean. Okay. Oh. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought that she said it. Uh, she'll right, stick with it. And she, with in fact, they it. believe it's there. Good answers. Then you back her up. Let me see. Punt. <laughs> Not there. Now, Nicole, you understand the question. An exact term for the start of any other sport than baseball. Okay, well, I'm a tennis player, so I'm going to say service. Let me see. <laughs> service. <laughs> it's there. 67 people said number one. Katie, what do you say there? I'm going to say jump ball. All right. Yeah! Let's have a jump ball. <laughs> Two strikes. Oh, UCLA, you may get a chance to oh, let's double that bank. Jennifer, stop them. Okay. Um, exact term, exact term yeah. for the start of any other sport. In, in golf, you tee off. Yeah. Did it make our survey? It is tee off. Yeah. At the bottom. Sally, keep it rolling. Not to mention, this is for five thousand dollars for you personally. <laughs> okay, um, swimming. Um, you, you. I know this. Um, Three you, seconds. Okay, you. Um, dive start. Okay, um, <laughs> three strikes. But I'm gonna tell you what. Let me thank you for that graphic reenactment. I'll tell you what. She was. She was she, I thought she was karate kid. She started doing that one thing, and he did at the end. Here we go. You can steal this bank. A baseball game begins with the first pitch. Exact term for the start of any other sport. Jennifer, one answer? I don't, don't know. know. Deb? Tip off. Tip off, Kim? The rugby scrum. Scrum, Jenny? Tip off. Tip off. Now, Julie, tell her what you want her to say. Three answers. Steal you the bank. What do you say? Uh, I'm going to have to say tip off. All right. If it is there, you have 71 more dollars. Show me tip off. You got the bank. To the ladies of USC, these two answers would have kept you rolling. Our survey said to start sports with number three. Gents, start your engine. That's to get up to inspiration point. And number four, face off. We are going to come right back. I promise you there's a lot more excitement. Somebody's playing for $5,000 after these messages. Hurry back. Special feud, $147 for the UCLA Bruins. The USC Trojans have zero. Kim and Sean, I want to point out that the competition is so intense. If you have just tuned in, I am the professor of Family Feud. That both women hesitated or wait, did not wait for me to call them to the podium. 
You raced to this face-off, which is the start of an official start of any sports. You raced here before I, right. before I called for you. Representing two great learning institutions, we will double the dollar value, but I want to take just a moment to say, when you're a parent and you get involved in your child's education, everybody wins. So put education first. Are you ready, Kim? Your team has a commanding lead. Now, Sean, you, you, you need to know. I'm here. I'm going to do it. You're here? Yeah. You're going to do it. You ready? USC will dominate. USC will what? Dominate. Will dominate. See, we don't, we don't usually get those kind of words. Um, um, dominate. Good luck, Sean. What, what, uh, what for, uh, sorority are you in? Chi Omega. Chi Omega. Uh, oh, we're kind of related because I, I shop at Alpha Beta. So uh, <laughs> the top five answers are on the board. Here we go. Name something that the person seated next to you on a plane asks you. We go to Kim. Do you have a Kleenex? Well, I always like it when they say, do you have a Kleenex? Uh... Now, Sean, any answer will give you control. Something that the person seated next to you on the plane asks you. 100 people surveyed. Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> Number two, think of a steal. Dollar values double. Sean, you said you would do it, and now... I, I am going to do it, Ray. You're going to do it? I like the size of these women. You make me feel like a man. <laughs> Nicole? Hello. What do you say? Hello. I would say, are you going on business or pleasure? Is this a vacation, or is this for business? And I'd say, well, are you alone yourself? Um, <laughs> something? You would ask them, are you going on business or are pleasure? Are you on vacation, or are you okay, going for good business? Enough. Right. Um, what is... Are you on business or pleasure? Uh, Not there. <laughs> Fine question, so you can't feel bad about it. Now, Katie, exactly as it is written, name something that the person seated next to you on a plane asks you. What's your name? Hmm. Is it up there? What's your name? 14 people said it. The dollar value is doubled, making this bank worth $76. Jennifer, number one, is sitting right there. Um... Can you move so I can go to the bathroom? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. If you that need to go. Oh, that your hand thought you were telling me to get out of your way. You needed to go now. I was, oh, what an odd time. Let me see. Do you mind moving so that I might go to the restroom? That is two strikes. Oh, two. Sally, what do you say? All right, what is your final destination? Where are you going? Where are you going? Show it to me. Yeah. Number one, $128. Approaching the amount that can let them win. Sean, you know. Ray, what is your profession? Let me see. What is your profession? Uh, that is strike three. What do you say over here? You can steal something a person seated next to you in your plane asks you. Jennifer? Would you like a piece of gum? Piece of gum, Debbie? Can I look at your magazine? Can I look at your magazine? Do you have Can't any kids? Have any kids? Jenny? Do you have a blanket? Do you have a blanket? All right, now. Tell Julie what you'll have her say to steal $128. I need an answer now, Julie, in three seconds. Do you, have, do you have any family? You want to know about the family. If it's not there, USC is in this game. Show me, do you have family? No! USC in this game. This would have taken the bank for you. People on a plane asking. Number four in our survey... The time. They also ask number five. Is this your first flight? It's time for another face-off. Here we go. Who will take it home as we triple the dollar value? Debbie against Nicole. Pay attention, all players. The top four answers are on the board. Listen carefully because we will move very quickly. One, thank you, Judge. One team or the other will win on this question. It is my job. Here's the question. Name something... A doctor does before giving you a shot. Nicole? Tells you this will not hurt. They tell you a lie. Let me see. Tell you it will not hurt. It's there. Stay here. Stay right here. One answer could give you control, Debbie. Something a doctor does before giving you a shot. He moistens your arm. He moistens your arm. Number one cleans the area. Think of a steal. Either team can win. Jennifer, answer. He puts the medicine in the shot. He puts the medicine in the shot. Uh, Enough for either team to win. Julie, come on. Uh, 
Um, I would say that he asked you if you're allergic to anything. Before he gave you a shot, he might say, are you allergic? <laughs> no. Think of a steal. It could win you the game, Jenny. Something a doctor does before giving you a shot. He tells you he's going to give it to you. He tells you. Okay. All right. You're still alive before you see. Here it comes. No, not there. You can win this game. One answer. Something a doctor does before giving you a shot. Katie, quickly. Okay, I'm going to say he pulls up the clothing that P where he's going to play. Pulls up the clothing. It. Nicole? Tells you not to move. Tells you not to move. Calms you down. Calms you down, Sally. Do tells you not to move. All right. Now, you may Bye. tell her what you want her to say. If it is not there, UCLA will win this game. Jennifer, I need an answer within three seconds. Um, say he pulls up the clothing. He pulls up the clothing. Nah. If it is there, you have won the game. If not, it's UCLA Bruins. Pull up the clothing. <laughs> not there. They keep their bank and win their game. Let's see. They're celebrating. Let's see what would have won you the game. Our survey... Before a doctor gives you a shot, he does number three. Examines you. And also they do number four. Washes his hands. I need two players for $5,000 right now. UCLA will be right back to play Fast Money with Debbie. After this, you don't want to miss it. Next on Match Game, the night is young and the stars are hoping to score. The Match Game Mini Marathon continues. Your dream date, Charles Nelson Riley, is waiting. $5,000 with the UCLA Bruin women. 15 seconds to the clock. We wish you much luck. Did I hear that 15 seconds go? Yes, I did. Good luck. We ask 100 people these questions. In a national survey, what did grade school children say was their favorite vegetable? Apples. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? Two. Something you see a stack of. Library books. A soup you can recognize by its smell. Vegetable soup. A foreign country with American students. Um... France. Turn around. Let us see how you did. Debbie, interesting. I don't know what your major is. I said in a national survey, what did grade school children say was their favorite vegetable? You chose the vegetable apple. Oh. A new scientific breakthrough the survey said. Zero. It's all right. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? You said two days. What did the survey say? Nine on the board. Don't feel badly. Something you see a stack of. You thought... 
Library Books survey said six. A soup that you can recognize by its smell. You thought vegetable soup. Let's see how you did. Survey said six. Apparently cooking library books. Um, a foreign country with American students, you thought. France, the survey said... Bam! That is respectable. 40, you put you back with your team. And here comes Kim, who has been kept off stage. Kim, it is time for the Hail Mary that I've seen so many times from UCLA. You turn right around. You need 139 points. You can let go of me. They face the nation. 20 seconds goes on that clock. Good luck. You can bring this home. We ask 100 people. In a national survey, what did grade school children say was their favorite vegetable? Corn. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? Three. Something you see a stack of. Books. Try again. Paper. A soup you recognize by its smell. Chicken noodle. A foreign country with American students. England. Turn around here. I stumbled and you did it. 139 away. In a national survey, grade school children said their favorite vegetable. You see your opponent said apple. You said they like corn. The survey said 55. Bam! The number one answer, truly also in the national survey. How many days a week do you read your horoscope? You said three days. Our survey said nine, tied with two days. Zero was the number one answer. Something that you see a stack of. 75 points away, you said. Paper. What did the survey say? Seven. Newspapers and pancakes tied for number one. A soup you can recognize by its smell, you thought. Chicken noodle soup. Our survey said. Eleven. Okay. Number one answer was onion soup. You're 57 points away. A foreign country... With American students, you selected Great Britain. If, it's, if you don't get the cash, you're going to get $5 a point. What did our survey say? 25. France was number one. $5 a point. Give the women $840. Come and hug her. They are the champions. We're coming right back after these messages. Don't go away. CBS. Civil our departing players will receive green forest environmentally friendly paper products made with 100% recycled fiber, soft and absorbent green forest. 
a Disney collectible, DuckTales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Enjoy the very best in animation from Walt Disney Home Video. Elgin Ladies Nugget Watch with a genuine diamond on the dial. It has the rich look of nugget gold, and its quartz accurate movement never needs winding. An outdoor light fixture, the Centurion Security Lighting from Encon, automatically activates the light source to welcome guests, discourage intruders from Encon Industries. This is the Auric lightweight vacuum used by hotels everywhere. It's hypoallergenic, 100% made in America, weighs only eight pounds from Auric Corporation. From Television City in Hollywood, this is Art James speaking for Family Feud, a Mark Goodson television production. Get ready to match the stars, Richard Deacon.